it's time to answer the big question. Is Dead by Daylight dying? The answer is no. I'm getting real tired of seeing posts saying Dead by Daylight's dying. Look at this dip in the Dead by Daylight Steam charts. I'm seeing posts about it. I'm seeing videos about it. Dead by Daylight as of right now is not currently dying. Sure, their player base varies month by month. However, as I'm recording this, it is September. October is peak month for Dead by Daylight, obviously, because Halloween. And also, they've just secured a collab with Five Nights at Freddy's, which is definitely up there in one of the most requested collabs, if not the most requested. Five Nights at Freddy's is one of the highest valued horror franchises and the fact that Dead by Daylight got its hands on it only means good for Dead by Daylight in 2025. Not to mention that they've added new game modes like Chaos Shuffle and Lights Out and 2v8, many of which have been very well received. So is Dead by Daylight dying? No, that's a very easy question to answer. If you look at the stats, if you look at behavior's revenue year by year, it's been growing. A far more interesting question is could Dead by Daylight die? And the answer is obviously yes, any game could die. But what would it take to kill Dead by Daylight? I want to really quickly talk about why people think the game is dying other than, you know, Steam shots. Sometimes they vary, they go up and down. First of all, people have a negative bias, not in Dead by Daylight, but in all of humanity. We've always focused on problems. That's how we problem solve. That's how we grow as a species. So people love to focus about the bad aspects of Dead by Daylight. Solo queue sucks. True. Nurse is broken. True. Four slowdowns is frustrating to go against. True. Second chain perks are annoying. Also true. All these things are true however it doesn't change the fact that it's only gotten better over the years i know that there's a lot of new players in that by daylight and by new i mean they've been here for like a year or two but the game used to be a lot worse like there was a lot of stuff in the game that was just absolutely horrible to go against and there's been like hour-long videos talking about that so i'm not gonna get into it but just know that even though there's some really broken stuff in the game dead by daylight's probably more balanced than it's ever been and i know it's probably a hot take for some people that go against a very very annoying builds but trust me things in the past were way worse for the game balance wise so the community is always going to focus on negative aspects not just in dead by daylight but in any gaming community and in any community in general we as humans we just love to focus on the negative stuff that's pretty normal but let's talk about what could kill dbd something that i think has a very low chance of killing dbd but is still possible is cheaters the rate at which people cheat in dead by daylight has gone up and down over the years it's varied a lot i don't I don't know how long ago this was but i think a year or two ago there was a sudden surge in cheaters where if you were playing dead by daylight for multiple hours every day you were guaranteed to get at least one cheater and for the average person it was pretty annoying but for streamers it was even worse because a lot of cheaters would purposely snipe streamers and then hold them hostage for an hour long which is how long it takes for a game to just end because that's it goes on for too long so i remember this some dvd streamers when being held hostage would just start playing a different game and that's obviously not good for dead by daylight so while behavior is getting better with cracking down on cheaters there is still quite a few cheaters out there and i don't want to say any names because i don't want to give this person attention but there's some people that make dead by daylight content where they cheat that is the sole focus of their content is look at me i'm cheating i'm gonna annoy people so while i think it is a low chance of actually killing the game if cheating starts to go up because i don't know some new cheat engine comes out or something and behavior isn't fast enough the game could take a permanent hit to its player base potentially not killing it but drastically reducing the player base so that's the first thing that could kill the game the second thing which i also think is unlikely is competition the reason i say this is unlikely is because every single asymmetrical game horror or not that's tried to compete with dead by daylight has died in maybe a month or two one year ago from today i think texas chainsaw massacre came out and i actually really enjoyed the game until the devs did some stupid stuff and now and then the game died pretty much i was editing and i realized that i wanted to add something texas chainsaw massacre literally lost so much of its momentum due to cheaters so you know it is always possible that a game dies to cheaters anyways back to the video but for a while the game was actually kind of huge on twitch because it was really fun however a big problem with texas chainsaw massacre was that it didn't have like a super high skill ceiling you could reach the skill ceiling in that game in like a month maybe and you would be like a top player every dead by daylight competitor has either been low in quality or just not matched dead by daylight it couldn't do what dead by daylight does better and that's what you need to be a good competitor the third thing that could kill dead by daylight is a lack of innovation now again i also think this is unlikely because the devs have been doing a good job of introducing new stuff like new game modes and 
they're making new killers relatively fast and new survivors too and new perks and all that but if they ever start to run out of ideas it'll probably show as it kind of is right now if you've noticed some of their newer killers have just been a mix of other killers which is fine but they're not really innovating with any crazy new powers that are like game changing which a lack of innovation wouldn't exactly kill the game at least not quickly but it would stop the game from growing and the last thing which also happens to be kind of unlikely is since the gaming industry keeps getting bigger and bigger gaming engines keep evolving and you're seeing a lot of games do sequels now they're like they're remaking their game in a newer engine if game quality keeps getting better and behavior doesn't want to make a dead by daylight 2 or they don't want to upgrade their engine and the game feels clunky and slow compared to newer games that could potentially kill it going back to the competitor thing if a new game comes out and it runs a lot better than dead by daylight like it's more responsive there's less lag less like weird hits that could potentially kill the game or people could play just other genres of game that feel smoother and nicer than dead by daylight if behavior refuses to change engines or something like that which i think they would be open-minded enough to upgrade their game and keep it up to date to make sure that the game doesn't die so that's pretty much it dead by daylight is not dying anytime soon i'm pretty certain of it they would have to like mess up really really badly and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching